speaker, who is Mario, and he will be introducing us to, to M body simulations. Okay, so we will start with Mario. Okay, uh, it's my turn to, uh, to talk about uh, the introduction to embodied simulation. Um, the contents will be this one. I first I will introdu introduce make an, an introduction to to see what we have in the universe, galaxies, and the structures. Then uh, computational physics, in particular numerical cosmology. Then using some some simple uh, numerical codes, the the most simple is this one, the embody uh, N2. Then uh, I will present the embody problem and the structure of the codes, how they were uh, built, and then present an example on globular cluster dynamics. Talk about Monte Carlo and initial condition, other simulation. Uh, the SPH to to deal with the hydrodynamic part of the of the system, and then the the large scale structure formation in the universe, and then some projects. Uh, this is an ad. If you want to know very nicely the <laughs> the the problem on numerical physics in in particular in astrophysics, you have to to read this, these two books. So, okay, so the first one is to make an introduction to, to, the, to, the, to the problem. So, okay, so first, that matter in the in galaxies, general relativity, Boltzmann equation and embodied methods, and construction of galaxies. In the universe, we have a lot of kind of galaxies, uh, we have Andromeda, the, the Sombrero, the Mice, the irregular galaxies, uh, very nice spiral galaxies and antennas, and so on and so on, interacting galaxies and, and other kind of galaxies like this one, which has uh, a bar in the center. The classification was given by Hubble. We have two, three kind of galaxies, uh, spirals, with bars, a spiral with bars, and ellipticals. And the main thing we have to, or we have to, to deal with when studying galaxies is to find, for example, the rotation curves, with, where we have a lot of uh, observational uh, data. Then general relativity and its Newtonian limit is starting with the Lagrangian, which is basically L equal to, or proportional to the, to the uh, scalar uh, Ricci uh, object, and we have the that this is a, a Lagrangian for basically to find the the metric of, of the space time. Um, by doing the the variation, we have the Einstein equation or the field equation, which is the specific equation for or to find the metric, and we have. The, the geometry and we have the, the, the sources, which is uh, energy momentum tensor. So in the case of uh, uh, nonlinear uh, evolution of the universe, we have to deal with perturbation, basically is to, to expand the, the metric. Basically, to expand the metric in terms of the or around the Minkowski metric, and we have this perturbation. So, introducing this uh, perturbation in the field equation, in particular the zero zero element, is give us the Poisson equation, and uh, this is the Newtonian or so-called uh, Newtonian limit for general relativity. This equation has this solution formally. In term, in, instead of differential equation, we have an integral equation. We have the boundary conditions, 
which are very important in where when studying uh, some particular systems and it depends or the source is the distribution of matter so this is the, the problem we have to solve we have to or we will see uh, several methods which you which uh, start with the differential equation or another method which use the 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 integral ex expression if we use the integral expression then we have that one over this uh, r minus r s is the green, green function and it can be expanded in harmonical spheric in in general in in this way and we have two times or two terms for the for the uh, potential the, the neutrino potential which are uh, the internal expansion when we have less less uh, the less uh, than case or the external uh, case which is for the greater or involving these uh, terms so for the internal we have this expansion and for the external we have this expansion and in in uh, so we can uh, arrange all the terms in in terms of uh, the the momentum of the expansion for internal are given like this one and for the external given like this one in cartesian we have this expansion and the force for the internal part is the dipole and quadrupole if we are just uh, taking or making the sum uh, up to the quadrupole term l equal to and uh, the, the internal monopoles are given by this one which is basically the total mass the dipole and the quadrupole and for the external is uh, another term which is here uh, but, by, but basically is the same uh, is more or less the same expression and we have the the, the, the mass and the, the dipole term and the quadrupole term this is basically the total, total mass uh, uh, up to a given radius okay the, so this is formally the the method that we have at, at hand to make uh, numerical simulations using uh, this expansion okay so the Boltzmann equation and the embody method specifically if we have a system with many particles many stars for example then the Boltzmann equation that describes the system is, is this one for the stars for example or galaxies in, in a cluster of galaxies um, they are considered that uh, they are collisionless so we, we don't have this term and the distribution function basically depends on the, the gravitational part which is given by the Poisson equation which is which I, I wrote here and the distribution function for, uh, for a scheme of embody for the embody problem can be written in this way where uh, we have n particles n star for example and then the Boltzmann equation reduced to this one basically is the second law uh, the, the Newtonian second law so given n particles with masses m, mj we have to to advance sorry to advance the, the system with this uh, equation so constructing a galaxy will be uh, in this way in general I am putting here the collisional term and we have a system of n, m, n, n particles in the phase space of individual particles will be that n, n dots or n points in, the, in this, is, this space is the, is the system and the evolution of this uh, distribution of particles in the phase space will be, will be given by the Boltzmann equation in particular we can construct the genus equation making an integral in velocities or momenta 
and we have the, the field genes equation, basically it's a continuity equation, and the, and the, um, and the if, if we multiply by the velocity or the momentum and integrate in velocities, we have the second uh, gene equation. Uh, it's a kind of Euler equation or Navier-Stokes equation with the stress uh, tensor and so on. So this is another way to solve uh, the Boltzmann equation uh, making a, a compactification, if we can uh, call in that way. So, in general, we have for a galaxy, for example, that a galaxy has a bulge, has, it has an halo of dark matter, for example, in, with this profile, the bulge with this profile, and a disk uh, with this profile, which is a axisymmetric system. And what we have as, uh, as the first problem is to build a model given the bulge with this density profile, then construct numerically given, for example, uh, 10,000 particles, for example, for the bulge, and then put all of these particles in the, in the, in the, in the, code, in the Cartesian, uh, in the configuration space uh, according to this uh, distribution function. The same for the halo and the same for the, for the disk. And with, with all of this configuration distribution uh, uh, function, we can construct the, the, the configuration space part. But we need also the velocity for each particle. So the, the simplest case is that the velocities are uh, Gaussian, for example, uh, like this one, and we have uh, an isotropy in the in the r phi and theta in in spherical uh, coordinate, for example. If all of these are equal, then we have uh, the, the isotropy condition. So, for this case, we have, or we can use the the second genes equation to construct. A equation for a, a specifically uh, or to find specifically the data we need here. So we have three parameters to construct uh, the velocity of each particle in the in the in the spherical coordinate system. So if we have isotropy, for example, that is the simplest uh, uh, case, we have this equality, and we can find then. Uh, the equation for the, the velocity dispersion in the radial part. So from here we can uh, obtain this equation and is given in terms of the density and the, the force each particle feels. So the distribution we have to deal with is given by this one to find the velocities in the in the in the system, and only one parameter. So, given five numbers, five um, random numbers, and given uh, several distribution for the velocity will be this one, and for the configuration space will be this, this, and this one for the bulge, for the di for the halo, and for the disk. So, for constructing, for example, the bulge we have to give three random parameters and with this distribution construct the position in this with this or consistent with this uh, uh, distribution and then give three parameters and with this distribution of function for the velocities find the three components of the velocity of the particles so this is the, the general method the worst case to, to deal with is uh, the disk because of the symmetry. So it's uh, a little bit more complicated, but we use this uh, approximation in which the rotation and velocity for a spiral, for example, for galax spiral galaxies, we have that the dispersion velocities are much less than basically the, the rotation of the, of the system. So the velocities, will have this anisotropy. 
or this uh, this uh, this form is a Gaussian also, but we have to find three parameters for the system, and the, and both of them depend of the of the position, the radial position of the of, in which we are co we are putting a particle, for example. And we, it, within this approximation, we'll, we we will have that. For, uh, sorry, here there is a typo. It's a exponential minus alpha r. So we know that the dispersion uh, velocity for in the radial part will be the kind exponentially. And the dispersion in set it will be uh, in terms of, of the, uh, density, the superficial density of the, of the disk. And we have also this relationship. Then uh, the dispersion in, in, the, in the azimuthal uh, the reaction will be this one. So, given the radial dispersion, we find the the azimuthal, and with this relationship, this is the potential, the Newtonian potential. I, deri I derive the potential with respect to the r, and we ha we found uh, the 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 angular speed, and uh, with this angular speed we found the, the epicyclic frequency, defined it like this one. And with this one, with this expression, we have the velocity rotation given, for example, by, uh, obtained by observation. And uh, the velocity dispersion in the radial part, the azimuthal, and the other parameters. So with all of these, parameters, we can then uh, know what is exactly this function, this Gaussian function. So given, again, three numbers, three, three random numbers, I can construct with this distribution the velocities for the stars uh, in the disk. And this is an example for the using this procedure to, to construct a galaxy well, the disk of the galaxy. This is the the H view and the and from the Z uh, view. And we can, given a galaxy, we can make, for example, an uh, a system of pair of galaxies interacting. Uh, just putting one in a certain distance or another one, and uh, establish some parameters for the geometry of the collision. And we we know. Uh, for some some galaxies, uh, proportion between the, the the mass of the bulls, the mass of the disk, and mass of the halo, and, and play with the the number of particles, the total number of particles in terms of them, and so on and so on. Um, okay, this is uh, this is another part. So I will go uh, quite fast, just to show show you some some objects in the universe. We have the sun, the the, the moon, and cluster of galaxies. And this example is given in the book, and we we will play with this example. The the basic uh, thing we have to to know about this is to find the dispersion of velocities, to find the potential given the density. And as a, as a test, try to, to find the virial uh, condition that the two, two times the kinetic energy and the potential energy is equal to, to zero. As a test, or to see that the, we have a virialized system, for example, or as a test for uh, numerical issues. Then uh, we have uh, Andromeda, a lot of galaxies, uh, nebulas, uh, cluster of galaxies, the planets, and uh, we also have a cluster of galaxies, and observation in the, in the biggest scale uh, to see how galaxies are structured in the, in the universe. We have these uh, catalogs, the CFEA catalog. Uh, we have uh, more galaxies in, in the catalogs and so on and so on. This is the scheme to, to, to make these catalogs. 
uh, just to avoid the, the, the Milky Way plane. And we have also these catalogs to see how galaxies uh, structure in the, in, 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 in the universe. And we have given a initial condition to see how we can model such kind of, 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 of uh, observation. I mean, uh, to see how we can model this, uh, this structure in the universe, how we can model how galaxies are uh, getting together and making this kind of uh, structure. So this is a simulation. And to do a, a similar observation like this one, we have to, to, to establish a, a point of observation and then uh, make uh, the, the classification or, or establish, for example, given a point of, from here, we can uh, test or observe around the allos form around a given point of, of observation. And this simulation was basically uh, done with uh, just the second law, the Newton second law, and this force. And uh, this is a one of the biggest uh, simulations, which use uh, 10 billion particles. And uh, it takes uh, like a month in a, one of the biggest clusters in that time to do the simulation. Was 25 uh, terabytes of data, the evolution of history of 20 million galaxies, the cubic region of, of the simulation, or the, the simulation box was uh, 500 megaparsecs, and, and so on and so on. The, mod, the, the, the cosmology was the standard model for, I mean, the, the Lambda CDN model, and use a particular method to, to find the, 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 the force. So given a, a, an observation like this one, how can we analyze or, or, or know something about these, cl these clusters of galaxies, for example? And the best way to understand is, in, in the liquid case, for example, we have here a piece of a liquid and we have uh, molecules moving around, and we have that we don't have uh, just seeing a, a snapshot, we don't have a, a we don't see a specific uh, pattern of the movement or of the how they are uh, clustering on and so on. So to study this, this kind of structure, we can uh, do the following. For example, pick a particle, the, the, this one, the blue one, for example, and surround this uh, uh, particle in, uh, in, in this case, in two dimension, uh, spherical uh, 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 regions, and count how, how many particles are around in this region, around the, the blue one. For example, in this case, we have one, two, three, four, five. And then go to the next uh, radius. With I increase the, the, the radius and construct another, uh, another cycle. And then count how many particles are in this case. OK, and so on, and so on, and so on. Then, and, and keep that numbers in, or that histogram in mind. Or, or I, I save in the memory or, or put in, a, in the disk. Then pick another one and do the same thing, and pick another one and do the same thing. And then we average the histograms. And with this, this exercise, what we get is this distribution. And then we don't have an, a specific pattern, or it's very difficult to see a pattern here. But when we make this calculation, we see something. For example, uh, given a particle, he, uh, he has a radius or, or two particles cannot be, uh, uh, be so, so close together because there is a repulsion in, in the case of molecules. So at the excluding, ex excluding this volume for each particle, 
we don't have nothing. We don't have, uh, or there is a not allowed, uh, this region is not allowed for the particles. So the, we don't have no particles here. But then we have some particles uh, surrounding each, uh, each particle. And then we have another peak. O sea, we have another region with more particles, then less particles, more particles, and so on and so on. This is the liquid case. And we have a varying the temperature, for example, from uh, a lowest value, 0.1, for example, in, in cold units, and to a biggest uh, uh, value of the temperature. So the kinetic energy dominates the, the potential energy. And what we see, this one, is uh, no. okay. This one is the. I think it's, a, it's a to the contrary. And when we have a lot of peaks, we have the solid state, and we have in the intermediate case the liquid state. And when we almost see only one peak, and then nothing, we have the the, the gaseous state. So it's the same in the in the in the universe. So when when we make a simulation like this one, we focus on a, a cluster and make something similar. But in this case, I am interested in to find how is uh, the matter surrounding this this uh, this object, for example. And what they found is that uh, the profile is this this one, the NFW. Uh, density profile, but also we can make similar uh, analysis la like I showed you before. But it's called the, the two-point correlation function. So okay, and the most important thing is that observation, the blue one, correspond statistically with the uh, simulations. And we can play with the contents of the simulation box of the, of the system, put more particles, less particles, and so on and so on, or increase the gravity, for example, the, the gravitational constant, diminish the gravitational constant, and increase the, for example, the, the cosmological constant, and so play around with all these parameters of the, of the model. And we can find that if we add a lot of matter, a lot of matter. We have very clumping uh, structure. With less, we have this uh, example. And with just the just, I mean uh, the lambda CDN model, we have uh, the corresponding in uh, between observations and, and simulation. Again, so we have. Uh, how come uh, this is one of the ways to, to find some information of the system, the NFW shift, uh, this density profile, but we can also uh, make analysis, an analysis uh, similar to the, the one I showed you before. And with, with this analysis, we can have the correlation function. How uh, what's the probability that given a galaxy in some point in space we have another galaxy in, 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 at some distance of the, of the field one, for example. Uh, and this is the simulation two case. It's a, basically the same amount of data, but the, the simulation Q was a less one, five, five times less, less than, than the simulation one. So the millennium, millennium simulation one was uh, 100, uh, 500, and millennium simulation two was 100 megaparsecs. And okay, this is another the horizon simulation. This is the millennium, millennium two, millennium one, and this is the horizon. The Q is really big. They use uh, two, six uh, gigaparsecs. Uh, with a lot of particles, 69 billion particles. And 
they try to find uh, specifically the correlation function and to see the the the, the BAO uh, bump, which uh, tell us that the two galaxies lie to be at this distance, so separates this distance, which is around 10, uh, 100 uh, megaparsecs, more or less. And this is another simulation, the Illustris. Basically, it's the same, but the, the hydrodynamic uh, part of the code was improved in order to see uh, star formation, nova recombination, and so on. A lot of details. So this is uh, this is just to to see something about uh, general relativity because the universe should be a model with the Einstein equation. So we have to to make uh, or to 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 tell something about the general relativity. So this is the equivalence principle, and this is the way Einstein constructed the, the Einstein equation, and this was the the way. Hilbert made the, the same. As, as I said before, this, this field equation are equation for the metrics. And this is some examples of uh, uh, the succeed of the, or, or prediction of general relativity. We have also, as I told you before, the cluster uh, galaxies and the main uh, the main uh, observation that give us the dark matter, uh, that about the existence of, of dark, dark matter. So we have that to explain the rotation curve we observe in the universe. We have to measure how galaxies uh, rotate around the center. And we have, the, the, I mean, the, the stars rotate around the center of the galaxy, and we see the this uh, data. And we have to explain this data with the Newton and fixes, for example. So given, uh, given the, the starts of in the disk with some density profile and given the gas with some density profile, we can find the rotation velocity uh, contribution uh, for the gas and for the stars. And combining these two observations, we don't have, or we cannot explain the, the rotation curve. So we have to add another density profile with some unknown matter and fixed parameters in order to 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 to, to uh, be well, to fit the, the the rotation and data and this is the concept of the doppler effect of course this is uh, only valid for uh, the nearby uh, galaxies Okay, supernovae, what, what uh, give us is that relationship between velocity and distance is li al almost linear, which is the, the Hubble law. And also with this, uh, with this observation is very clear, uh, give us that if, if uh, galaxies are uh, uh, moving away from us, then the universe should have or have to to have a, 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 a or or should have uh, born uh, in according with the big bang uh, model and this model tells us that in the universe must be um, some kind of radiation a relic radiation uh, that satisfy the the, the Planck uh, formula. But uh, because uh, they were uh, testing uh, for another reason, the okay. or testing this antenna for communication, <laughs> and they found the, the uh, noise in the in the background. And that was the, the, the big one or the CMB signal. So it was a, a, a beginning, very dense beginning with high temperature. And using the, the Einstein equation, these two people uh, construct a metric 
and find that the metric, the, that this metric has only one parameter, and the parameter is the how the universe is, uh, uh, the space, the space is, is changing in time, making bigger or or or, or less. Uh, Okay, this is just a cartoon, and this is the the expansion of the universe in two in in three times. So closer, then uh, separated, and more separated. And the redshift, in this case, is not the, for Doppler effect; is for the expansion of the universe. So if we use, um, for example, in the separation of two two galaxies. At, at some time, we have that we have uh, this relationship in terms of the separation of galaxies in uh, in another time. For example, this could be the time zero, time one, and time two, for example, and then we have this relationship. And given the that we you, we accept the cosmological principle, then we have that the that the, the separation only depends on T, and this dependency is only in the expansion factor. If we make some derivative for the, this uh, relationship, we have the, the Hubble relationship. So this is the concept of the, the redshift. And when the universe is expanding, we have that the wavelength of the, of the radiation is, 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 is growing. And Another thing from simulation is that if we analyze uh, a small piece of, of, of a space, we have that clearly uh, the cosmological principle is not valid, but when we increase the, the piece of, of the space, we have that the, in, in average, we have the, the, the validity of the cosmological principle. And of course, uh, we have to, to, to take this in, into account. <clears throat> from Newtonian physics, uh, I mean, from from just the conservation of energy, we can co construct the the Freeman equation, which is this one, in terms of the density of the species w which uh, we consider in this model, and this is an, an equation for the growing factor, and for the field law thermodynamic, we can find another equation for the density. And with these two uh, equations, we can solve the l largest scale of the of the universe. But we need to 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 consider the the smallest scales when when this uh, Friedman equation uh, is not valid. So all the the the, the information we have. From, observ from observation from cluster galaxies, a catalog of galaxies, <coughs> the CMB, the supernovae, the rotation curves, and so on and so on. All these that we give us the cosmological pi, uh, where we have the Hubble constant, and at the present time is 68 kilometers per second per megaparsec, and uh, a lot of information. The cos del co cosmological constant is 17. Well, it's around 70% of the total uh, cosmic in inventory or the content of the universe. 24 is dark matter and 5% is, is baryon. And uh, it, this model has a lot of problems, in particular for uh, the smallest scales. And we have a lot of models to, uh, to try to understand dark matter, machos, wimps, general relativity, FR theories, MON, and so on and so on. And, uh, well, uh, satellite is problem. Uh, for, for example, uh, counting the, the, the nearest galaxies to the Milky Way, we have that the number of uh, these galaxies is, uh, is fewer than the, than the given by the by by the simulations or the, or for or or what is inferred from this uh, density profile uh, and so on and so on. So we have a lot of models and okay.
How much time do you have? 20. Thank you. So now I, I'm, I'm going to, en to enter to the numerical details, in particular about the, the installation of the numerical codes I'll, I give you in the, in the page of the, of the school. And this is a, I'm using Ubuntu, this is a new, new computer, well, this is a, a virtual computer. Uh, it's Ubuntu 16. Uh, it has nothing, so it's just to show you how to, to make the installation. Ah, the network. So you have this, uh, this package. These are the codes. So all the all the the zip zip uh, files are uh, here. I assume they are in the documents and this uh, folder. So the simple one is this one. And the instructions are here for Ubuntu 16. So they, they, they are a lot of steps. Uh, I am sorry for that, but uh, it is better that you understand the hard way. Because when you are in, in the real world, you have to be by your own. <laughs> <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, sorry, this is real so world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the first step is going to the home. The home is just given by that uh, environment variable, CD home. Home is is applied to 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 this one. In, in my case, home is uh, use is uh, home uh, slash uh, mar. So so I am here. This is home. In your case, your home is uh, your home. <laughs> so the first thing is to unpackage one of the, f the zip files is is here <laughs> sorry let, let me
Чего же? Сорт. So this is the first steps, one of the first steps. So you also package and then go to the instruction. I unpackage just one. I could do the the, the other ones. This is another one. This is another one. And just for now, this one. So I have this package uh, unpackaged. And body, model, and plot to d analysis, uh, well, gadget. Ah, I need gadget also. Well, uh, la some li libraries uh, that gadget need. That's it. So, next. Okay. In the in the folder that was created by this method, so we have this this, um, this folder mm -hmm. where is the system put or the files for the system are put. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is to see any uh, file that can be read. So this is the installation uh, details. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this file is is here. So the 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 first thing is to to move but unpackage and so on and so on to <laughs> move to the, the NAC body directory and try and uh, make some uh, useful or needed directories that we need to, to have. Mm -hmm. So there are uh, a bin directory created a man director and zip and, and a second man and, and the local directory. In bin directory will be the, the binary uh, the binary codes. Oh. Next, change to the home. I mean I at this moment I in a in a in a level under the, my home, right? So go to the home is just writing this instruction. Mm -hmm. Then and with the A we have to we need to use today because there are hidden files in your system, in your home, that uh, configure or prepare your system to to, be, to behave in in a particular way. So you have to see in particular this file and should be another, this one. And it, there is a lot of, oh, it, this is a script that the, when you uh, open a terminal, something happen and prepare the system to, to work in a particular uh, case. In particular, all these scripts give, give us this environment. And what is important here is to, to see 
you can see, for example, that there, there are some variables defined. For example, when I invoke dollars home, I know, or the system knows that the home is this one. It's my my own uh, place in the in the in the hard disk. But there is another uh, variable which I uh, very important. This one, the path. This one, the path. So, the, um, it doesn't matter where, where we are or where we uh, I am in the in the hierarchy of directories. I could be in the home or inside or very deep in the in some directory, and. Uh, with this trajectory, define, with this variable defined, we can find where the binary is. So, so given that I am pretending to to put here the binaries. For the numerical course, I will uh, install. So I, I need to to tell the system that no matter where I am in the in the in the system, I always can find uh, some uh, a some command or some numerical code. Mm -hmm. So I have to put this uh, this trajectory. In the in the in the in the path in the variable path. So I have the system ha have to know that the null body being is here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is all the. So for, for Linux, for Mac, you should do this one. You have to do this one, or these two is these commands. And for Linux, you have to do this one. So what I, do, I did was um, was to add at the end of this uh, binary uh, script to add these uh, lines, which will define the the, the environment for to use in this uh, system. So just uh, check this, uh, how is defined. So check the definition of the path. There is not a NAC body folder in any, in any place here. And when I open a, a new terminal, the new definition enters. So I can run the same thing. And you notice that um, now we have this path. So we can find the, the binary codes whenever you are. 
in the in the hierarchy of the of directories. Mm -hmm. So this is very important to 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 have functionality in the in your in your system. Mm -hmm. What next? So change the to the NACBody directory. Mm -hmm. And then make the installation of the first or the simplest call, which is um, this one. Mm -hmm. So in the binary folder we have the, the, the numerical code, here, this one, mm -hmm. and we can test it, open a new terminal, we are in the home, we are here in the home, we make a, a directory to, to test. And we are in the inside this folder. So I will try to, to run, for example. Um, Mario, I have a question. Sí. I install everything that is called home, but not, not in, in my subdirectory. Use Emma Mart, but in home, in the in your home, home, your home is Jorge. Yeah, but it's not. I, I didn't put things there. I put it in what is called home, not in Jorge. Mm -hmm. No, no, but you, you are not allowed to, to do that. I did. With Suba, with Emma, ah, no, 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 but with Mart, no, 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 Go to home, I, I went home. No, 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 but, but home is home. Yeah? Home. yeah. No, no, it's capital home. Yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> no, no, it's uh, capital home. So what should I do now? Remove the home and the definition of the path of where you put the fence. It's not a particular place at all. It depends yeah. on its use. Exactly. Well, I got it now, but. I do now I Forget about that that folder and do and do it again. Can, can but with the. Can you not rename? Or just copy? everything? Can you uh, not rename that whatever you call home to the specific one? To move it to, to the other place. Move it? Okay. Can you not once you put the files? Can you not just change the name of, of the uh, of the folder without having to move everything? You can move the folder. Yeah, uh, but they did as a pseudo. <laughs> no, no, no. So Jorge was doing this. Uh, I believe this is a very specific question that we can answer. Uh, we can ask Mario at the, at the break. Uh, I think we ran out of time. So, is there any general question that you would like to ask Mario? There's one over there. <laughs> Yes. 
Eh, yeah, sorry. Hello. So I was wondering when you were uh, starting with the galactic one. So you mentioned about the gene equation, ah. and you discussed the galactic uh, simulation. So it, it, it uh, gene equation is for the static uh, st static universe, right? A static yeah. a static system? No, yeah. no, no, no. No. It depends on the, or the they involve a partial derivative with respect to time. Okay, so you the general. But the 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 galactic uh, simulation is depend on the uh, it's depend on the genes equation. What is the purpose of the gene equation, right? Mm -hmm. yes. In this case, was to build initial conditions. Okay. O sea, you propose, uh, for example, an spherical system, mm -hmm. as a density profile with a spherical symmetry. So you know wh what's the what the de row of R, mm -hmm. and then you put in the uh, in the gene equation to find the velocity dispersion. Okay. Then you find the Maxwellian distribution of velocities, mm -hmm. which depend on the spatial part, of course. Mm -hmm. And then in each point in space, you can uh, simulate or pick a random number from a uniform, uniform distribution, and then with the Gaussian, transform that number to the to Gaussian mm -hmm. distribution and find a velocity for each particle. So just see if you have 10 particles, do the same for each particle. And you are constructing the velocity part of the system. So that equation is used to generate the gene sequestration, but you are, you can also okay. use it to another, for another purpose, of course. Okay. But in this case, to build initial conditions. And before that, you mentioned about uh, ex interior and exterior. What that is? Uh, ah, in the multiple expansion. Yes. What was the difference? The difference is uh, is the um, the source and the the the. You have um, an origin in the in the coordinate system, so it depends if you are uh, looking for the potential at some inner part of a distribution, okay. and, and is the other case when you have to to see what is the potential outside a given distribution. Okay. So, so it depends. But they are they all the the, the two parts are come together in the in the expansion we need both of them so it can be uh, interior in, in, inside can be to represent the dicks and also it can represent <laughs> it was the it can represent the bulk sorry i, I, I it, in the one system like galaxy it can interior can present uh, the bulk part and the exterior can present you need both of them so okay. Because it's the expansion of the of the of the green function. Okay. No, I just. <laughs> uh, so, if I understand it correctly, that was the expansion of a term that was something like uh, one divided by r minus uh, another r. Uh, In the multiple expansion. Yeah, yeah. That was expansion. R, right? r my, m, uh, bigger and. Oh, some, something like that. Okay. So, uh, yeah, no. It's, it's <laughs> <fine>. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I guess we can postpone the, the questions for the coffee break. So, we'll have 20 minutes coffee break. And if you have particular questions to ask Mario during this time, please do. So, we'll reconvene in 20 minutes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.